What is going on everybody? It's Cold Titan for you guys. I am bringing you the world's first Master Prestige account in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I know this video is long overdue. We should have uploaded this like right away. That's my fault for not getting the video out. I was just honestly drained from doing all these hours on this account while leveling it up obviously. But we finished this account on November 7th at like 5.50 a.m. or something. Um, I'll link in the tweet in the description and you guys can, if you really want to, you can go to our past broadcast on twitch.tv slash doomclan live so the entire thing was streamed you know it was all legit no glitches or anything like that so you guys can literally go back and watch the entire thing if you really wanted to obviously that's a lot of time to go through and watch everything but it is there nonetheless just you know just to prove which reminds me that i want to tell you guys that we are actually going for black sky camo this weekend on doomclan live 24 7 we're going to be trying to get every single gold gun which allows you to unlock the secret camo black sky which is like dark matter from Black Ops 3. So if you guys want to see what that looks like, if you guys want to see us unlock it, we're going to be streaming that the entire weekend on Twitch.tv slash DoomClan Live. So make sure you guys come out and say what's up, all right? But anyways, talking about the race again, um, if you're wondering, we started on around Thursday uh, morning, Eastern time. So that was when the game was actually released in like New Zealand. So the game was officially released in New Zealand at that time, which is when we started. And I understand that a lot of people, you know, are kind of upset that, oh, you started before a lot of the people People in America got it all this type of stuff but realistically like if somebody in New Zealand were to start at the same time as us like or were to start when the game actually came out then they could technically get it first so basically that's the reason we start super early and I know a lot of people are kind of upset by that and I'm sorry that's how it works you know it just sucks time zones are a thing okay I can't control that nobody in Doom can control that nobody doing the race can control that so we apologize for that if you guys want to go super if you wanted to go super hard for that um unfortunately usually I would say you know you could just look at the time played and then you could kind of gauge whether or not it would have been faster or you could just shave off the amount of hours at the end like based on how late you started but from what I can tell a lot of the other teams that you know were competing in quote unquote the race to master prestige they ended up giving up anyway like I don't know uh very many other teams that actually ended up hitting Mass Prestige 55. So it is no easy task just to get to Mass Prestige, you know, continually play 24 7, switching off between people. You would think having multiple people on an account you would make it easy, like, oh yeah, it's easy. They can just switch off whenever they want. But actually coordinating and getting all these people on at the right time, you know, and leveling up and all that type of stuff is actually quite a difficult task. And not to mention that we are streaming the entire thing as well. So we need to have people capable of streaming their gameplay to, you know, Twitch or whatever. So you guys could... So people can watch and make sure everything is legit and nobody's doing like cheating or anything like that using glitches and stuff so if you guys are wondering how the hell did we get there so fast like you understand that we're we were playing 24 7 but still that seems pretty fast well number one i'm just going to tell you guys the fastest way to level up is hard point 100 percent you know you just got to play the objective you get a lot more action on hard point you can get a lot more score um, you still get a lot of kills, obviously, which allows you to get a lot of the more, a lot of medals and stuff like that. Allows you to get kill streak. Allows you to complete a lot of the challenges. Challenges are definitely a big thing in this as well. There's so many different challenges, including like all the score streaks, perks, specialists, or rigs, whatever you want to call them, that give you a lot of bonus XP. What you really want to do is try to complete as many challenges as you can, like at the same time. So if you, you want to go for like three challenges simultaneously that way you know you're going for all that extra xp while you're still playing the game and then after you finish those you can start going for more so you guys get what i'm saying challenges are a big factor in this game though 100 percent. if you're just looking to rank up fast definitely go through and check a lot of them obviously when you prestige you, you get the prestige challenges as well which opens up a lot more opportunities for xp so you definitely want to take advantage of those as well so if the first prestige is going kind of slow for you you will at least have some extra challenges afterwards that you can strive for but also what a lot of people didn't seem to realize, which I was, I'm kind of surprised, but then I'm kind of not surprised, is that in Europe, there was actually a promotion through Monster Energy, so like the Monster Energy drinks, where you could get double XP codes. And I'm not sure why they weren't a thing in the United States. It seemed like, you know, that could only benefit them. But for whatever reason, it was only in Europe. So we had one of our European buddies buy just a ton of Monster. The maximum amount of codes you could get on one account was 150. So we did have 150 double XP XP tokens and whether or not you consider that unfair as well the leveling up I mean it's just one of those things where if one team doesn't do it then another team will so basically you're just trying to play it safe and just get all the tokens just in case some other team starts to use it that way you know there's no 
shadow of a doubt whether or not you were first. So we got there first before anybody else, so nobody could say anything differently, you know what I mean? So some people, once again, everybody has their own different rule set in their heads, and it's unfortunately, it's not a quote-unquote official event being the first Master Prestige. There's no prize for it or anything like that. The only prize is really the recognition, recognition of being first. So uh, there's no really official rules. Like What most people agree upon is that as soon as you're able to start streaming the game publicly, then that's when you can start and that everybody plays solo so that way you know teams don't come into effect you can't run support for other people you know stuff like that so those are like the ground base rules and then pretty much everything else is just whatever like that that's pretty much all that can be enforced at that point so we did have double xp codes and what we did to rank up especially fast is um, we would do a bunch of challenges in one game, like save up a bunch of challenges and complete them all in one game. And then the way the double XP tokens worked in this game was that you could use a double XP token after the match was over. So basically you would wait till you get a really good match with a bunch of XP and then use the token there. So that was kind of our strategy. And obviously, you know, when they had double XP weekend and then you stack that with double XP tokens, that allows you to level up super duper quickly. And unfortunately we used a good amount of tokens before the double XP weekend uh, came out because we didn't expect double XP to be out like the first weekend. So we used a good amount of tokens before then. And that kind of was a mistake because obviously if you're using tokens before double XP, if we would have just waited like uh, a little bit longer, we would have got, you know, double the double XP. So that was kind of a mistake on our part, but we didn't really realize that double XP was going to be out. And fortunately, we still had a good amount of tokens left. Like obviously 150 is a lot. But my suggestion to you guys is if you still have codes or you can go out and buy codes still, is that you save these tokens for when there is double XP so that way you can double up more. It's almost like quad XP or whatever. And also I have um, a few extra tokens. Actually, I think I have like 10 to 15 extra codes. So I'm gonna be putting some in the comment section below. Um, if you guys could leave a like on the video and subscribe, I would appreciate it. You know, it's not required for you guys to be entered because I'm just literally gonna put them in the comment section and I might tweet a few out. You have to enter them on callofduty.com slash monster energy and connect your uh, PSN to a Call of Duty account and then enter the monster code. So I will be putting a few, I will be putting some codes in the comment section. So good luck. I know only a few people will be able to get them, but hey, it's better than nothing. I mean, I don't really need them. Like I'm not in a huge rush to level up or anything in my personal account. And I have the access of this account to be able to use whatever I want. So leveling up really isn't, that big of a deal to me because I can use anything I want on this account. So congratulations to anybody that actually is able to redeem the codes. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions on how you can level up fast or anything like that, just you know, leave a comment as well if you have any other specific questions. Obviously, like I said earlier, playing hardpoint and going for challenges. And obviously, if you're using a submachine gun, you can run around faster, get more, get into more gunfights and stuff like that. So that those are like the three main things. The gun I was using in this gameplay. Where I got like 114 kills solo is the RPR, which is like kind of like the Ripper from Ghost. But just wanted to thank you guys for all the support on the stream that we had during that weekend. It means a lot to us. This was the third year in the row that Doom actually got the first Master Prestige. So that was pretty cool to get the three peat. I know it's not really a big deal to a lot of people. Like it's just Call of Duty. But it was kind of cool. It's kind of a cool accomplishment. So thank you to everyone who came out and supported us throughout the stream. We do greatly appreciate it. We're going to try and get some more uploads to the channel now that we've kind of all had a break. I know me especially. I played so much during the race that I was just drained afterwards and that's why it took so long for me just to make this video I know I procrastinated a lot which I shouldn't have which obviously was a huge mistake on my part but anyways if you guys enjoyed please leave a like on the video I would greatly appreciate it subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you guys soon in another video all right peace